This soccer field is supposed to bring kids together, but last weekend a group of parents cast a dark shadow over the game. I was appalled, and I know the rest of the executive is appalled. A near-violent altercation when an enraged parent lashed out. It all came to a head when one of our contact tracers, who was treated very poorly at a venue, uh, was verbally, basically verbally assaulted and ignored, went home in tears. The incident, just the latest at this field, as frustrations mount over limited seating and other safety measures. The club issued a letter to parents saying the abuse and poor behaviour has to stop. A security guard has been hired to keep parents in line. But unfortunately we're bound by the policies by the health office and I, I think they just saw a, an opportunity to take it out on somebody and unfortunately they took it out on that poor lady. Well I was shocked really to begin with. Coach Jamie Benton says it's a small group of parents causing trouble. It's unfortunate that it's had to be done. Um, I'm in favour of it. Uh, it's unfortunate they've had to supply, uh, you know, um, get a, a security company involved and spend money on that instead of actually investing that in, in, in the soccer program. Similar incidents have happened elsewhere in the Lower Mainland. That same weekend, an altercation at a ringette practice inside the West Vancouver Ice Arena when a group of hockey parents entered the complex when they weren't supposed to. One man refused to leave. I think for a lot of people, it feels as though the rules are changing too quickly to keep up with, and they're not quite sure what the right thing is. Mediator Ashley Sire says these types of conflicts are widespread, happening in transit, stores, even the workplace. Mindfulness really, really is key. You know, Bonnie Henry's mantra, right? Be kind, uh, be calm. You know, if, if you see that somebody is reacting in a way that feels like a very strong reaction to you, you don't know what's going on in their life. When tensions flare, she says it's important to be patient and leave enforcement up to those with authority. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.